In this video, I'm going to show you three free methods to remove the background from your AI generated artwork. And I usually use Photoshop for this process because you just have a bit more control over how the final result actually turns out. But I realize not everyone has access to Photoshop or likes that tool. So that's why I want to show you some free alternatives. Also, if you are interested in my process with Photoshop, check out either my mid journey t-shirt design tutorial or my mid journey print on demand tutorial for Etsy. Now, one of the most important parts when it comes to removing the background of your images is actually having the right kind of graphics or generating the right graphics with the correct prompts because um, if you don't have a clear outline for example then it's going to be way harder to remove the background so adding things like stroke or contour white background that will all help you things such as enclosed in a circle or on a round vintage sunset they just add like a clear shape and outline to your image to make it way easy to cut out because if you don't have a clear outline to your design then removing the background is going to be that much harder and also obviously the quality really matters here so make sure to upscale your images at least four times before removing the background because if they're only about 1000 pixels you're going to get a bad result Option number one that I've got for you is Photopea. This is a web browser alternative to Photoshop. It is quite similar. It's a bit of a stripped down version of Photoshop essentially. Um, but all you have to do here is drag and drop your design into this and it will open up. And now you've got two options in order to remove the background. So first of all, you can go to select and then click remove BG up here. This will take a little while and load and then try and identify what the actual background of your image is. And then as you can see, it does do quite a decent job. It's not perfect, but this might work for you on some graphics and save you some time. And although the edges right here are a bit blurry, um, I think in, in a lot of cases, this might be usable for something like stickers maybe. Um, so that is option number one, is just to go to select and hit remove background. The other option would be to use the magic wand tool, which I also use a lot in Photoshop to do this. So I'll select that from the toolbar, and then you have to turn the tolerance up quite a bit usually to around 70 points. This is very dependent on your design. So if you don't get good results, you either might have to turn this down or up. And contiguous to having that turned on is quite important because otherwise it will select not just the background, but also certain elements of your design if they have the same color as your background. So uh, let's use the magic wand tool and click on our background color. It's made a selection which goes all the way around right here. We do want these little areas to be removed as well, but they haven't been selected. So one thing you can do there is um, zoom in, hold shift, and then while holding down shift, clicking on the areas that it hasn't selected, so those get added to the selection. And now, I think this is a pretty good result. You, all you have to do now is go to select, hit inverse right here, and then go down to the layers panel and hit add raster mask. So as we can see right there, that's done a pretty, pretty good job for removing the background and the edge of this is not blurry now, which is cool. Also a quick tip right here, if you do want to make some adjustments to the way this has been cut out, you can do that with the mask functionality over here. When you have that mask selected, um, you can use the paintbrush or the brush tool right here, or you can click B as well on your keyboard to access that. You can increase the size of the brush by using the closing bracket on your keyboard. And then if you do have a black color selected right here, it is going to erase essentially certain items from your mask. So you could take these little bits out if you wanted to, or if you swap the colors and make white your main color, you can also paint objects back in. But as you can see, it's also painting the background back in. So um, best definitely bear that in mind. So that's a quick little tip right there for you to also refine the background removal once you're done with the selection tool or the magic wand through the mask function in Photopea. Once you're done with that, you can also increase the size of the image if you want to by hitting Control T to transform and then just uh, drag this box right here to make your graphic bigger. If you want to export your image, just set to file, export as and hit PNG. Then you can select the dimensions right here and hit save to obviously save it to your device. Option number two that I found for you is a really cool website called erase.bg. And all you have to do here is drag and drop your image onto the site. Uh, this website will be linked in the description along with Photopea as well. 
and this one is totally free to use um, if you're doing it one image at a time which is amazing the only thing you have to pay for is for the bulk processing as you can see right here it's just popped up as an ad but if you're doing it one at a time it's totally free with unlimited images which is amazing you don't have as much control right here over the end result like if it doesn't turn out perfect then you can't really edit it afterwards you can click edit right here but this just adds uh, different background colors, I believe. I don't think you can actually select anything in terms of how much of the background is being removed. But if we look at the comparison here, you can see on the left hand side, the original on the right hand side, the um, well, the background removed version. It's done a pretty, pretty good job. That looks very similar to what we had on Photopea. I have found that with more complex graphics, this site is not ideal. I mean, it does sometimes remove parts of the design as well. If it has the same background color as the actual background of the image but besides that in many cases I think this can save a ton of time and obviously it's a lot more hands-off and doesn't need as much technical ability and once you're done with this all you have to do is hit download original size and it will download this removed background version to your PC and option number three that I found very unexpected is Paint 3D. So I don't think this is available to Mac users or Apple users, so only for Windows, unfortunately. But essentially, you find it if you search in your Windows section right here for Paint 3D. Then click on the app and it will open up like this. Then you can hit New right here. You can drag and drop your image into this middle bit and then if we head up to magic select this is where you can choose which part of your background you want to be removed so if you make this box smaller to focus around your actual graphic then all you have to do is hit next right here and it does do a really good job of actually selecting if we zoom in the graphic right here on its own um, if you have some trouble or you're not too happy with uh, what it has removed or is going to remove then you can also use the refine options over here to either add more to the selection or remove certain parts. So for example, down here, this bit in the middle, if you wanted to get rid of that as well, you just select remove and then draw over it like this. Let go. And there you go, it's adjusted it. This bit on the foot is a bit funny as well. And um, by the way, I'm zooming in with my mouse wheel. And if you click on your mouse wheel and then drag across, then it will move the entire, um, well, the camera for you in a sense or where you're looking at. So click on the mouse wheel and drag around to check the edges of this. And uh, once you're happy with the selection, you can then go and click on done. And now, as you can see, if we move this, the background has been detached. We can click on the actual background itself and delete that. Then you have to head up to these three dots right here and then click on canvas options where it says show canvas, turn that off. And then if we head up to menu, save as, click on image, then we can export this file right here. We can change the dimensions on this side to 4000 pixels. And once you click out of this, it's going to adjust the height as well. And if we tick transparency now, it should have a transparent background, which is really cool. You can save this to your PC and it's done a pretty, pretty good job, which is really cool for a free piece of software that you get with Windows. If you want to learn how to make money with your AI generated artwork, then make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through the full process, including research, design and listing. Mm -hmm.